Okay, we're good. Hi, <laughs> my name is Calder Cayman. I transform trash into beautifully crafted creatures. Nature never wastes. That's why I reuse. I see rubbish as a resource for developing beautiful textures such as fox fur or flower petals. We have left a massive mess for the next generation. My contribution for radical change is to inspire others to be creative with all of this stuff. I am going to teach you how to transform a plastic shopping bag into corn or plastic yarn. Using a simple crochet link, I will show you how to create a mushroom. I use this simple crochet technique to build most of the flora on my fauna forms. Using only my hands, a crochet needle, and a hot glue gun, I've encouraged others to reflect and change their habits around plastic. To begin, you will flatten out, then roll your plastic bag long ways. I learned that as hot dog style in school. Next, remove the bottom of the bag and the handles using your scissors. You do not need these parts of the bag to crochet, but I'll usually keep these pieces for another project. Now, I will cut the entire rolled up plastic bag into approximately one inch pieces. You will know you have executed this correctly when you unroll the pieces into loops. In this step, I will take the cut pieces, one in each hand, and weave them together. With your dominant hand, loop and hold one strip with your thumb and index finger. Imagine the second piece as a snake you have grabbed by the head. Your snake is going to go through the hole you created and back through its tail, creating a knot. Let's try that again. Hook your fingers into the loop with one hand. Grab the snake's head. It goes through and out the hole and back through its tail. Pull it tight, but not too much. It can break. Continue this until you use all the pieces of the bag or reach your desired length. You are growing your porn. One more time. The snake goes through the loop of the last tail or piece and back through its tail. Roll yourself a cute little bundle of porn using your hand to wind it up. Switch directions to twist and tie it off. Cute. You can use any color of bag. I also use newspaper sleeves. They're a little more sticky than regular shopping bags, but come in all kinds of unique colors. I'll show you the weaving technique a few more times. Feel free to rewind and review. I've had lots of practice. It goes through the first loop and back through itself. Take your finished plastic yarn from one end and make a slip knot. Use your index and middle finger to make a loop and a knot. Adjust it to a small circle about the size of your fingernail. This leaves a spot for your crochet needle to go. This is a crochet needle. It has a hook on one end that makes knots and loops. Hold it like a pencil with a hook pointed towards you or the ground. Thread the hook into the slip knot on your plarn and hold the needle with your hand. 
With your other hand, hold the plarn and link stationary. I usually hold it running between my index finger and middle finger and hold the rest with my palm. I stretch the plarn with my index finger and thumb to keep it stationary. Point the needle down, hook down under the plarn. Wrap around over the plarn, hook the plarn, pull it through. Under, over, hook, pull through the last loop. Under, over, hook, and pull through the last loop. See the links we're creating? Repeat these steps until you reach your desired length. Your crochet knots have become a chain. Once you've become comfortable with this, you can move on to the next part. We begin the mushroom cap. As before, begin with a slip knot. Crochet hook goes in the loop. Hold the string tight, under, over, hook through the loop. Under, over, hook through the loop. At about three loops into the chain, you are going to take the needle back through the first loop. Hook a loop through the link. Now I have two loops on my needle. As we go in a circle shape, I will repeat this. Now hook and pull a loop through both. Find the next link moving counterclockwise. Guide your needle through and pull one link through the loop. You have two links on your needle, under, over, hook, pull through both. Find the next link and push the needle through. I am now adding a second link to widen my cap. Pull through both and add a link. Continue around until you create your desired shape. This looks good to me. I break the remaining corn, cut off that extra bit, and tie off my piece. You've created your cap. You can also use your chain to make a jellyfish with jellyfish tentacles. But you are here to make a mushroom. To crochet the stem, we will first flip over and pop out the cap. Find a link close to the center of your mushroom, take your needle and hook it through that loop. Grab the rest of your plarn, we will use this to crochet your stem. I hook my needle into the loop of the plarn and pull it through. Now we will make links, remembering to move the needle through a loop on the bottom of the cap.
the newspaper sleeves can get a little sticky. I have now moved my needle in a full circle clockwise. I insert the hook into the first loop of the stem and continue going round. Finding the next loop, moving clockwise, I continue to make links. If I ever run out of material, I will use my hands again to weave more plarn. just need a little bit more. Nearing the end, my stem looks good. I pull the plarn into a knot. I grab my scissors, cut the plarn, and tie it into a knot. Sometimes I use my needle to help. the barn into a knot. Tie it twice or thrice. Trim the ends. Flip the cap back over and straighten out your stem. Ta-da! A perfect toadstool.